All right, Mike, so what are some words that you would use to describe RTI? Well, that's really actually easy because uh, I think this is the best company I've ever worked for. I mean, ever worked for. Everybody is, everybody treats you like a human being, for one thing. I, I work in lots of different companies. I've been driving for over 35 years, and no one has treated you like a person. They always treat you like, like bad. Treat you bad. Just a truck number, right? Yeah, just bad. They, they, they yell at you, treat you bad. This place is just outstanding. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't have no good, good works for this company. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. So, kind of preluding into that, what would you say that is one thing that RTI does that your previous employers wouldn't have done for you besides, you know, treating you like a human being? Well, that's, that's, that's easy too, uh, actually, because you guys actually will actually hand out dollars uh, if, if you actually do a favor, right? right. The, your favors are real favors. You, you, you say, can you do this? And I'll say, well, you know, I'll, say, I'll think about something and you'll say, well, I'll give you $100, you know, uh, extra on the load. I mean, you know, you just do it automatically. No one asks you. I don't ask you for money. And you just automatically say, you know, because we're go you're going out of your way, we're going to give you some money. No other company will do that. So more or less to summarize, you scratch our back, we scratch your back. Well, yeah. yeah and it, yeah. And because of that, because of that, I will always, and, and, and I don't need money. I mean, I don't need money. But it's always nice to have. Right. Uh, I will always uh, do any relays y'all ask. I, I, I've never turned down a relay, no matter what. And I can definitely say that you saved my butts more time than anything. <laughs> so that kind of will lead me in my next. Uh, you're a Canadian driver for us, and yeah. we rely on you a lot because we don't have a ton of Canadian drivers right. up there. Is there an experience that you could kind of uh, let everyone know that, you know, going up to Canada or just, you know, just a certain experience with RTI that you could kind of share with everybody? Uh, are you talking about? Like going through the border, you talk about uh, the border. Good experience, bad experience. How we got you through a bad experience. Oh, anything like that. well, uh, getting your paperwork to you on time so you don't have problems at yeah. the border. Really, uh, ever since the ever, ever since the e manifest came out and, it, and it's been going strong for a while, it's all pretty good. Uh, used to have a lot of problems. Used to have a lot of problems with the uh, well with the paperwork. I, I can't think of what. But you used to have a lot of problems with that, and sometimes I sit there for a day and a half waiting for it to get it fixed. But it's gotten better, and uh, there's I, I don't really have any good or bad because because usually you cross the border, yeah. it's, it's 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 gravy, and uh, there's there's times like even now a couple weeks ago I, I had to sit for uh, I had to sit for like twelve hours for uh, getting my uh, load fixed, right. but it's no big deal. It's, it's it's part of the job of going to Canada because that is why the extra money is involved because there's issues crossing the border. So you, you just have to deal with it. If you were talking to another one of your fellow drivers that didn't work for RTI, what would be something that you would uh, kind of let him know on why this is your forever home? Well, uh, basically, what I, uh, basically what I said earlier is that you're treated with respect. Uh, there's never no yelling at a driver. Uh, even when you have issues, it's, you're on good terms. Even when you have issues, you're on good terms, and uh, it's a great company. You get your miles. Uh, there's there's communication between always communication with somebody. You know, if if I can't find Zach, I'll find you. I'll find somebody else, John. Uh, and it's, it's it's really and before all this coronavirus, we can always just come in and uh, talk to y'all. <laughs> you know, and so so I would I've told drivers. Uh, of course, they they ask about the company. You know, I'll be at a, at a Truck stop. No, I swear, coming. I'll go on for twenty minutes. I'll get this place. This, you know. I just, I'll, I'll go on and on and on. <laughs>